I'm going to show you my Zwift setup. I made a video like this a few years ago when I first got into it and I was running Zwift directly from an iPad. So a lot has changed since then, even the trainer. So I used to use a Cyclops H2, now I use a Wahoo Kicker. But I'm going to show you the whole setup and I'm calling this Zwift setup because even though I do other indoor trainer apps like RGT, Full Gas, Kino Maps, and by the way, Full Gas is my favorite realistic app because of the number of videos and the quality of videos. But most of the time, I end up using Zwift simply because it's just more engaging because you're out there with other people. Some people call it the social side. I call it the competitive side because when you're out there passing other people or competing in an event, it's just easier to motivate yourself. And the social side is cool too because like today I was out riding and a guy passed me or I passed him, can't remember, and he sent me a message and said he liked my videos. So it's so cool to know you're out there riding with other people. Also, I like Zwift because the frame rate never changes. Some of the realistic apps, if you slow down, the frame rate changes. And someone who creates videos, that's like, it's like nails on a chalkboard. I like Zwift because the frame rate's always the same no matter how fast or how slow you're going. But let me go ahead and show you my setup. So I'm running Zwift from this gaming laptop and I have a gaming laptop just because I need a processor where I can edit videos. So I have an HDMI cable that goes all the way to my TV. Now what I do is I switch the HDMI cable. So if I'm just you know at my computer, I have one HDMI cable, which is unplugged right now. But when it's time to do Zwift, I like my setup to take like two minutes. And so I plug in that HDMI cable and this one runs all the way along the floor here. And by the way, I'm in my bonus room upstairs and this really is the man cave. And so we've got some you know, drums and guitar and keyboards. So it's our music room and it's my man cave. So that's the TV. And then I have the HDMI cable just going into the side there. So like I said, all I have to do is unplug one HDMI cable, plug in another, and then I'm ready to go. So I do use a Wahoo kicker and I just got this one. So it's the one with the little feet that kind of move. I don't really notice much movement on it. Um, but the reason I like this versus the Cyclops hammer that I had for a couple of reasons. One, it's a little more responsive. So when you have someone pass you or you know, you're trying to catch up to them, uh, it's easier to stay in a draft because it's more responsive. Also, the Cyclops had this big plastic flywheel cover and I had to remove this quick release lever to spin it to get it off. So uh, the Wahoo is a little easier. And the handle, I like the handle because I'm gonna show you at the end of this video, I do move the, the bike over against the wall when I'm not using it to clear some floor space. So I run Zwift through the companion app. And if you're not familiar with Zwift, you can run it through a mobile device, you know, Android phone, iPhone, or an iPad, and it acts as a bridge. You don't even have to pair all of your devices like your smart trainer. All you do is you open the companion app, and if you're on the same Wi-Fi network as your computer, it'll run everything through here. So it just automatically finds everything, it pairs, and then you're good to go. So you can see here on the TV, I've got it paired to a Wahoo kicker for cadence and power. I use a Wahoo ticker heart rate monitor, which I'll show here in a minute. And I have this Elite Sturzo, which you can't see, but I'll show that here in a minute. So I'll just mention something here, um, since I'm talking about the Elite Sturzo, and I did a little video on this. You can uh, go back and watch that if you want to, a little review when I unbox this thing. I will put that in the description below. So I love the steering. I have paired Zwift with my iPad on the companion app because I had a couple times where it dropped off from my Android phone. It's a Pixel 5, but for the most part, it works fine. I cannot pair that Elite Steerzo to my iPad. I don't know why. I'm going to contact customer service, but it pairs fine through my Android phone. So most of the time I use the Android phone. So I have this little sweat net, little Cyclops sweat net, and then the phone fits in there. You can't really operate the screen. So if you're coming up to a turn and you want to change directions, you've got to pull the phone out because it's, it just won't respond through this little plastic cover. So I do use a heart rate monitor. So I use the Wahoo ticker. So this thing is not only Ant Plus, but it's also Bluetooth, which you have to have if you're using the phone or even a computer, uh, if you don't have like an Ant Plus dongle. Uh, but since the phone, I go through that as the bridge. I use the Wahoo ticker. For sound, I either use the sound bar on the TV or lately I've been using my Jaybird earbuds. So the Vistas, I have these paired to my computer and so the sound comes directly through the computer, which is kind of cool, especially if there's, if there's people around me and I want to block out the ambient noise. On my bookshelf, I just keep some extra towels upstairs. So when it's time to do a workout, I've got a towel, which you have to have 
And speaking of towels and sweating, got to have a fan. So I just got this basic fan that I got off of Amazon. Some people use a couple fans. And let me mention something here. I thought about trying the, the Kicker Climb because it works with the Wahoo Kicker. That's the one that elevates and goes down as you go up and down hills. However, my setup would take probably twice as long. And again, I'll show how I just move the bike up against the wall when I'm done. But that's why I don't use the, uh, the Kicker Climb right now. But you know, I've thought about trying it. And by the way, if I do use the iPad, I just put it on this cheap little music stand. For the bike, I've got this really sweet Look 765 that has not seen pavement outside since I rode the Marmot Alps in France. Gosh, coming on a year and a half ago. I did do France today on Zwift. Travel time was a lot less to get over there today. But yeah, this bike works really well. I mean, the great thing about Zwift is you can use any bike. I keep a water bottle right there. If I'm doing a long ride, I have that coffee table next to the bike in case I need to put food or water on it. And then for pedals, FYI, I just use SPD pedals when I ride any kind of bike because that's what I have on all my other bikes. I have this mat that I got from Cyclops a few years ago. They now go by the name Saurus. You can use a yoga mat, but I like this one because it's a lot wider. I think it's even longer than a yoga mat and it's thicker, super durable mat. Got to have a mat if you're going to do Zwift on the carpet. So the bike's up against the wall. Got my shoes and Sturzo, mat, fan, tucked neatly in the corner there. And that's how I convert the pain cave back to the man cave. And of course, back to the editing studio. So that is my Zwift setup. I probably won't change anything now. I've got it just like I want it. The only thing I may do one day is add the kicker climb. I'm curious what that's like, but if I do that, I can't use the Elite Sturzo, and I really like using that too. And like I said, if I use the kicker climb, it's gonna change my setup teardown time. It's probably gonna add a couple minutes because I've gotta move it out, put the fork on, all that. Uh, my setup now is, is pretty quick. It's like two minutes to set up and two minutes to tear down. Any questions or comments that you have, drop them below. Thanks for watching.